Hey Page Clotters. In case you missed our overview video, Page Cloud sections are horizontal containers that allow you to easily reorganize and reuse content across your site. Although converting your existing site into sections is not required, it can offer many benefits. In this video, we will start by showing you the easiest way to convert an entire page into sections. Then, we will walk you through a few real-life scenarios to show you how sections can work for your site. For this example, we will be converting the Union template into sections. As you can see, the home page currently has three distinct sections. The header, the body, and the footer. Now let's divide the page body into multiple sections. Step 1. Add a blank section. When nothing is selected, you will see plus symbols appear on the upper and lower boundaries of your body section. Once you click plus, select add blank section from the top right hand corner. This will add an empty container for you to move content into. Step 2. Make space for your content. You need to make sufficient space so your selected content will fit into the blank section. Don't worry about making too much space as you can always remove it later. Step 3. Select and move desired content into blank section. You can marquee select with your mouse or select multiple objects by holding down command or shift on your keyboard. Once everything is selected, drag the elements to the top of your blank section. If you want all your elements to maintain their horizontal position, hold shift as you move them up. This works best if you move the entire selection in one movement into the desired section. Objects become a part of a section as the bottom of the object enters it. A purple highlight lets you know when content has changed sections. If you make a mistake, simply hit the undo button or use the undo shortcut. Command plus Z for Mac and Control plus Z for PC. Step 4. Removing additional spacing. If you made your section bigger than it has to be, no problem. Simply use the resize handle at the bottom of the container. Keep in mind that you'll need to remove this extra space on both desktop and mobile. This should only take a few seconds. Also, because you've removed a portion of content out of your body section, you'll want to remove the added space on both desktop and mobile. Step 5. Converting full width images into background images. If you want your background images to resize automatically with your sections, be sure to set your images to background images by clicking the Set to Background Image button located on every full width image. How easy was that? If your full width image has a color tint, copy the color value and paste it into the color tint field of the background image. Step 6. Repeat steps 1 through 5 on the remaining sections. To be clear, you don't need to convert your entire page to sections in a single pass. You can add your sections as you see fit and be selective as to what content should be in each section. Here are a few examples. Adding an image gallery in the middle of your page. In this scenario, make a single section above the image gallery following the steps mentioned earlier. Did you know that sections automatically grow to accommodate resized content? This means you can say goodbye to overlapping elements when you add additional images to a gallery. Here's another scenario. You have a favorite go-to layout that you want to use over and over on a page. Converting this layout into a section will make it a breeze to reuse and reorganize. I can even use the copy and paste functions. I'm only converting the sections I need. This way, I get all of the benefits of sections without having to convert entire pages. See how easy it is to add or remove content? There is no need to adjust the spacing on desktop or mobile as everything is contained within the section. Isn't that great? If you have any questions or feedback regarding our new sections feature, please reach out to support at patreon.com.